kindergarten, I want to let you meet a friend of mine. This is Sadie Sadie the Pattern Lady. And here's a poem that goes with Sadie. It's written by Susan Kropa. Sadie Sadie the Pattern Lady is the prettiest lady in town. She ties ribbons fair in her patterned hair and has flowers all over her gown. She takes her socks from the polka dot box and puts them on her pretty plaid feet. Her beautiful shoes are a number of hues that flash as she walks down the street. Her favorite bonnet has a feather upon it and the sash that ties under her chin. Her apron is darted and multi-hearted. It fastens in back with a pin. And when people meet her, they happily greet her. She glows from toe to crown. Yes, Sadie Sadie, the pattern lady, is the prettiest lady in town. As you look at Sadie, do you see all the patterns that she has on her clothes and on her hat and in her hair and on her shoes and even her socks? See if you can identify two or three different kinds of patterns. Hey kindergarten, now I'd like to introduce you to Sadie's friend, Dashing Dan. Dashing Dan is a pattern man and he comes from a place called Patternland. He wears a check coat and a tall striped hat when he goes for a stroll with his calico cat. His pants are a spectacular sight to behold are covered with patterns tregant and quite bold. A bright shiny buckle on each shiny boot reflects the design of his big bumper chute. His favorite tie was a gift from his mother. It's dotted and spotted unlike any other. And the colorful garment that covers his chest is a beautiful sparkling polka dot vest. So if you fancy colors of pink, green, and blue, I'll tell you a secret between me and you, that Dashing Dan is the handsomest man who lives in a village called Patternland. So kindergarten, look at the patterns on Dashing Dan. Do you see stripes? How about checkers? How about plaid? And polka dots? Now it's time to make our own pattern person. Today we're going to make our pattern person, just like Sadie Sadie and Dashing Dan. You will need the white piece of paper and some crayons. Let's fold the paper in half. This way, I have room on my paper to make a boy and a girl. Let's get a crayon. Let's draw a person. Our person needs a head. So I'm going to draw a circle. People have what I call the body box. That's where your heart, your lungs, and your tummy is. Your arms are made of three parts. That's one. That's the elbow, two, and a hand. I like to draw it as a mitten. When you draw your arm in three parts, you can move it any way you want to. Your legs are made of three parts too. That's the first one. This is the knee. This is the shin and then a foot, kind of like an oval. One, two, and three. Now that we have our person drawn, let's put some detail on him. Let's think about patterns. What kind of patterns can my person have? Just like Sadie Sadie and Dash and Dan, we can give lots of pattern on our person.
He needs a friend. So on the other side of the paper, I'm gonna do a girl. have two pattern friends. Make as many patterns as you can and have fun!